Once there was the most beautiful place, Eggtown, a place where rabbits and chickens lived together in perfect harmony. Ah, but all was not perfect. Beyond the lovely meadows and merrily brook were swamps and badlands, where creatures lurked and watched and waited. And when everyone in Eggtown was sleeping, one little fellow in particular tried his very best to watch over his friends. His name was Good Gracious Grasshopper. Why can't I find a butterscotch jelly bean? Oh, gracious! Oh, 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 who could that be? Sneaking about in the middle of the night. Good gracious! Boss Bunny Baker. Sergeant O'Hare, no one Bossy, robs my back. shop. Let Sergeant O'Hare handle it. Oh, please be careful. Good gracious. You're careful. dead. Who do you think you are? Yeah, who do you think you are? Ugh. Now you're in for it. Yeah, now you're in for it. You're in trouble now. Sergeant O'Hare is on his way. This is outrageous. Good gracious, good gracious. Gracious! Oh no! Oh, good gracious! Now I got you, you miserable thieving beast! I'm 
sorry, Mama. back with dinner. All right! Oh, what took you so long, Timothy? We're starving here, and that slop cookie threw together tastes like garbage. With that. Here, Steel, would you like some chicken wings? Oh, yeah. Thanks, cookie. Anyone else care for some wings? Now, let's see how many presents Timothy brought us from those sweet little bunnies and chicks. Did you bring me any cute chicks? Yeah, all the chicks want you. Fried. Extra crispy. <laughs> Cough it up, Timothy. Let's see what you got from those egg town Easter freaks. You call this a haul? Might be crummy if you ask me. We give you one simple job, and you foul it up! I'd have my pockets full if it wasn't for that sneaky little grasshopper. He must have followed me. He what? He, woke up the... he followed you back here? You let yourself be tailed? You idiot. He didn't follow me here. He followed me into town to the baker's, but I gave him the slip when I ducked into the woods. He's lying. He's got fluff cream all over him. I bet he ate most of the haul. Yeah, egg day's almost here. There had to be more cupcakes and pies. He's hiding it in the forest for himself. Let's croak him. No, first we make him tell us where he stashed the goodies, then we croak him. I say if he's keeping our share, we croak him and eat him. I could turn him into a nice meat pie or a casserole. Just try it, you vultures. I don't think we should go. Shut up! I can't think with all you dumb clucks shouting. I swear you don't have a brain between you. Okay, Steel, get the map. I have an idea. Those little hairballs are gonna pay. We are going to make them pay! even remember sitting down. <laughs> Wake up, Terry. We can't sleep the day away. It's Monday morning, and tomorrow is egg day. <laughs> I'm going to go to town to do my shopping. I won't be gone too long, and I'll bring you back a nice surprise. Oh, can't go out without my pink chicken lips. Mwah. A little oh. feather spray. Oh. <laughs> and I'm ready to face the day. <laughs> Bye, Tilly. Yeah. What a beautiful day. <laughs> a perfectly lovely day to shop. Oh, I 
wish I could run that fast. But I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> Flowers are beautiful, Flora. Almost as pretty as you. Miss Tessie, it's so nice to see you. I'm glad you like them. I saved a lovely basket of violets out back for you. Oh, Flora, violets are my favorite. I know that, Miss Tessie. I knew you'd love them. That's perfect. What do I owe you? You don't have to pay me now, Miss Tessie. Would you like me to send you a bill? No. Oh. <laughs> I would love you to send me a bill. Or a Bob. Or a Charlie. But could you make sure he's handsome? <laughs> oh, my. Fresh plum cakes. They look luscious. They were always Timothy's favorites. You there, with the shawl. You broke into my shop last night and robbed me. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Would you run and get Sergeant O'Hare for me and tell him I've captured the thief? Boss Baker just said so. Look, look at this. Here's the evidence. What's going on here, boss? This is the thief who robbed me last night. The dried fluff cream from the pie I threw is still all over her shawl. Miss Tessie, is this your shawl? She admitted it. She nodded yes. See? She admits it's her shawl. She nodded yes. Miss Tessie, why won't you speak? She's too embarrassed to speak. She should be. Is that why you're nodding yes and not speaking? Miss Tessie, are you ashamed you robbed the shop last night? She admits it. She confessed to the whole thing. The fluff cream is all over her shawl. That's pro. I'm afraid I have no choice but to arrest you, Miss Tessie. You'll have to come with me. Back up, everyone. Back to work now. Let's go, folks. Move it along. If you won't come along on your own accord, Miss Tessie, we'll just have to carry you off to jail. You will notice, class, that the only way to weaken the dangerous wolf vine violet is to pluck out all the flowers. That's it. No more talking, no more laughing, no more misbehaving. Nothing. Or you'll all be back here tomorrow. I don't care if it is a holiday. Who wants to be responsible for ruining Egg Day? Go ahead, speak up. Now, I want it absolutely quiet in here until the bell rings. No more nonsense. Good afternoon, teachers and students. This is your headmaster, Benedict Bunny, speaking. I, uh, sc school will be closed tomorrow for Egg Day. Yay! Yay! Now, form a single line. No talking in line. No pushing. Stop laughing. No humming. We can stand here all day, you know. I wish.
I hope I don't get her next year. I have her last. She's so mean, she hates everyone. She doesn't hate big, boring Benedict Bunny. <laughs> Be quiet, she'll hear you. Hi. Hi is the opposite of low, young man. Good afternoon. Tiny Tessie robbed the bake shop last night. She totally destroyed the bake shop. The bakers were up all night cleaning the place. I can't believe anyone could be so stupid. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Miss Tessie could never... She's already in jail. Where's the tail plucking? Excuse me, but have you all lost your minds? Do you really believe Miss Tessie robbed Boss Baker's shop last night? Yes, we believe it. Boss Baker saw her do it. He recognized her shawl. There was fluff cream all over it. That proves it. That only proves that Boss Baker isn't any smarter now than he was when I had him in the sixth grade. Hi. I, I mean, good afternoon, Miss Harriet. It is not a good afternoon, Mr. Baker. I understand you have told half the town and Sergeant O'Hare that Miss Tessie robbed your store last night? She, she did. She... she did not. And she would not, Mr. Baker, because, well, first, she just would not. And second, she could not, Mr. Baker, because Miss Tessie does not venture out at night, because she cannot see well at night, and because she is scared half to death of takets. Remember takets, Mr. Baker? Those lazy and thieving old birds that live in the swamp? They don't work. They take whatever they need. Think about it, Mr. Baker. I, 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 I saw her shawl. She, she, she was, it was her shawl. Could her shawl have been worn by someone else, Mr. Baker? I, 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 we, we asked her if she robbed the shop, and, and she shook her head yes, like, the t like this. Mr. Baker, when poor tiny Tessie gets scared in the least, she forgets how to speak, and her head bobs up and down. It is called shaking, Mr. Whoa. Baker shaking from being so frightened of takets and other idiots who accuse her of crimes she could not possibly commit. Do you think Tiny Tessie can run faster than you, Mr. Baker? Do you think Tiny Tessie could throw a pie hard enough to knock you over, Mr. Baker? Do you think Tiny Tessie could knock over a great big pastry cabinet, Mr. Baker? Do you think you should run over to the jailhouse immediately and tell Sergeant O'Hare you made a mistake, Mr. Baker? No more nodding, Mr. Baker. Just be on your way. She doesn't bother anyone. And stop trampling through my flower beds. Horrible Harriet hair. Horrible Harriet hair. Everyone here. No one here. Hello, Miss Harriet. I, I, I just wanted to make sure you were still planning to picnic with me tomorrow. I always look forward to our little once a year outing. As do I, Miss Harriet. is trying to kiss horrible Harriet hair. Do you think he can reach your lips? Shall I pick you up at 11 o'clock then? 11 o'clock is perfect. Miss Harriet, uh, I, was, I, I was wondering if you could uh, come to my... I really need to go. Are you all right? Those children were awful. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Headmaster Benedict heard the whole thing. They were singing that horrible, horrible Harriet Hare song the entire time he was speaking to me. Don't they know I have feelings too? Well, Headmaster Benedict Bunny is never going to like nor fall in love with anyone who is called horrible Harriet Hare. Sometimes I think he only goes out with me because he feels sorry for me. I wish he could get to know me. The real me. <laughs> Lately I've been thinking about you And I'm wondering, do you think of me? Are you even happy I know you? Am I what you Hello, need? Doggy. Or just what you see? Hello. Oh, hi, Mother. 
No, I, I will not be bringing Miss Harriet to dinner tonight. I did not chicken out, Mother. She was busy. She was very busy. I know I've said that before. No one's getting any younger, Mother. That would be impossible. Yes, I, I will ask her another time. I agree. I, I, I think if she got to know me, she, she might like me, but... I, I don't think she's sitting home just waiting for me to ask her to dinner. Look, I am not perfect at all, Mother. And I know there are those who call me big, boring, Benedict Bunny. And they think I can't hear. No, Mother, I, I am not cute. I, I am an adult, and I am big, and I am boring. I do not want you to invite her for me. I will invite her myself when, when the time is right. Maybe on our picnic tomorrow. Yes, I, I, I know it's the ninth year in a row. I, I love you too, Mother. Well, I can spend another night practicing my piano. I just wish Miss Harriet here and I could get to know each other better. But why would any creature as lovely as Miss Harriet here fall in love with big, boring Benedict Bunny? Maybe if Miss Harriet just got to know me. You don't know me. You say I am boring, but when you're near me, I am a lion roaring. And when we're on a picnic, I feel so alive. I'm no longer Mr. Ho-Hum. I'm much more like a king inside. I know love is the answer. I hope love finds a way. I'll go wherever you want me if I'm what you see. Or just what you need I know love is the answer I hope love finds a way I'll go wherever you want me If I'm what you see Or just what you need Eleven, twelve, that's a dozen. Jelly beans with the greens, marshmallows with yellow. Whites, get it right. Reds, use your heads. If you're working the straw, stop flapping your jaw. We want packers, not slackers. Layers, not layers. 
Rapper snap to it. If you work in this room, you lower the boom. Oh, it's no use. I can't do anything with my ear. Either one of them. And on this of all days, oh, I'm having a bad ear day. Oh. Mm, too serious. I look like I'm going to a funeral. Oh, no, this doesn't... It right. Oh. Okay, fluff up my tail. Now, what do you think? Well, do you like it? <laughs> um, too poofy. Oh. Why didn't you say so? Thank you very much. I appreciate your honesty. Why don't you just say it? I look horrible. Well, of course I look horrible. I'm horrible, Harriet. I don't even want to go. Anyone as wonderful and intelligent as Headmaster Benedict is never going to fall in love with horrible Harriet Hare. Good morning, Headmaster Benedict. I I'm not late, am I? Heavens no. You're right on time. I admire promptness. <laughs> I was just reading the newspaper. <laughs> Let me get my things. Well, Headmaster Benedict, I thought your proposal for more napkin holders on cafeteria tables was simply inspired. Oh, I, that, that's very kind of you, Miss Harriet. Thank you. I, I, I didn't think anyone noticed. Honestly, I, I, I can't take all the credit. It, it was really my, my mother's suggestion. We, we were having dinner one evening, and I, I, I made a bit of a mess. I, I had gravy drizzling down my shirt and globs on the... <clears throat> well, I, I try to institute new programs now and then, you, you know, to keep things exciting. Oh, I love this song. Wow. What a coincidence. That's my favorite song. Oh, you're just saying that. No, it's my very favorite song. I, uh, I, I even sing it sometimes when I'm by myself. Okay, if it's your favorite song, sing me your favorite part. I'm just crazy about you. I can't live without you. I'm just crazy about you. I won't last without you. 
So, um, what's your favorite part of the song? I'm crazy about you. I won't last without you. Care to dance? I, I, I might step on your feet. I'll take my chances. If you don't mind me saying so, Miss Harriet, you sure look lovely today. Why, thank you, sir. And that's a nice vest you're wearing. You do fill it nicely. Uh, Miss Harriet? Please, call me Harriet. <clears throat> okay. I, I will. V very well. Miss, I, I mean Harriet. I, I've been thinking, that is, thinking of you. I, I mean of us. What I mean is... of kissing me that disgusting? No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I thought you... No, you... We... But... I really need to go. Miss Harriet, no. P please, don't go. Y you don't understand. I understand. I really do. Oh. I have a million things to do. Let me... Papers to correct, you know. Harriet, no. P please. That's okay, Bertie. It's not your fault. No one's ever gonna fall in love with anyone named Big Boring Benedict Bunny. I'm crazy about you. I can't live without you. I'm crazy. About you, I won't last without you. Okay, birds, listen up. I'm tired of small jobs and small rewards. We're gonna rob Hatch House, and we're gonna clean it out for good. We have enough goodies to last us a year. Cookies. You pack the supply, steel. Tune up that truck. And make sure it doesn't backfire. We don't want any busybodies here. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You get all the tools and knives together. Pinch. Find as many buckets, bags, barrels as you can. We're not leaving one stinking egg behind. The rest of you, empty your pockets. Make sure you have room to really stuff them. Then go outside and roll around in this swamp. For camouflage, get it? the oil pan or blow the carburetor. All right, shut up, the both of you. Steel, this thing backfires again, and it's your tail. We wait here till they're gone. Then we have some fun. <laughs> Colorist, great job today. Not too messy, I'm happy to say. <laughs> Dippers, you worked hard and no one fell in. Not like last year. <laughs> Bro.
rappers, you can rap for me anytime. Though I'm not your fine shorty. I have an announcement. I'd like to read the output for the day. The grand total is... And the total is... 7,825,403 eggs processed. That's about 600 more than last year. Thank you again, everyone. You did a great job. Be careful going home. <laughs> that was one impressive day. I love this job. Hello? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. Of course I wouldn't hang up on you just because you're Benedict's mother. Of course I can keep a promise. A promise? I won't tell Benedict you called. Why does he feel terrible? A bird did what? Why didn't he tell me? I thought, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Really? He likes me. Benedict likes me. Of course, it'll be our little secret. Absolutely any time. I would love to come to dinner, but Benedict will have to invite me. Oh, thank you for telling me. It was so wonderful of you. Good night, Mrs. Bunny. Yes! <laughs> Big, boring Benedict Bunny likes horrible Harriet hair. What a beautiful evening. It's perfect. Nothing could spoil such a wonderful night. Oh, she is one great looking chick. Oh, look at that drumstick. Hey. That one. You don't remember her? She's the old bird that pecked off your tail. First time you tried to catch Helen Hatton. Ouch. Oh, yeah. She's a tough one. Good. Uh, she's gone now, so let's get moving. Okay, let's go. Okay. Grab, get the gates. Cookie, don't turn off the truck. You know it can backfire when it starts. Oh. Tessie detailed. Miss Tiny Tessie was arrested for the robbery of Boss Baker's bag shop. <laughs> Some old biddy took the rap for you, Timothy. That's my mother, you oven stuffer. <laughs> Your mother. Sergeant O'Hare gave a statement earlier that feather prints found at the scene Whoa, were a Prince. perfect match to Miss Tessie's son, Terrible Timothy oh, Taken. Oh, you Timmy. got your name in the paper, Timmy. According to a reliable source, Bakers have offered a reward for the capture of terrible Timothy Take it. I need to write my mother a note. We can drop it off on the way back. Everyone in that truck! Come on, chop, chop. I have a snack before we go. No, you can't have a snack. I'm one out. 
Taking takes a lot out of you. You can take that to the bank. Ooh, 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 gotta go, gotta go. If I don't go now, I'll never make it through the swamp. And I'm not going there in the dark with the rats running around. I just found out what they did to you. I am so sorry. I'm afraid I hurt you again tonight. We robbed Hatch House. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm sorry I'm a terrible chicken. I'm sorry I'm a terrible son. The others don't know it yet, but I'm leaving soon to start a new life in another place far away where I can never hurt you again. I know you will never forget how bad I've been. I hope you will never forget how much I love you. Maybe someday things will be different. I love you, Mommy. Timmy. Grasshopper, you can stop ringing that bell! What's going on? It's all gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? Everything. What do you mean, everything? What are you talking about? I mean everything, including Easter, has been taken. Good gracious, good gracious. Hatch House is empty. I checked it myself. The tickets took every last basket. Check it out, Deputy Hopper. Okay, folks, everybody remain calm. I'm sure our pal Good Gracious here had uh, one too many butterscotch jelly beans tonight. <laughs> it probably had a nightmare. I'm completely out of butterscotch, and this is a nightmare. But I'm not dreaming. The tickets truck backfired under my porch, and it woke me up. I saw the eggs myself with my binoculars. <sighs> Hatch House is empty, Sergeant. He's telling the truth, sir. Good gracious. Of course I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Save me, I don't want to get chicken napped again. Oh, they're not here. I followed the Takeits. They were headed to old Take-It Town with our eggs. They stole my hokey pokey records last time. Big what? You sound like a bunch of old hens. We, we are, are a bunch of old, old hens. hens. Takeits believe they can come to our town and just take whatever they want. Well, I say we're not gonna take it any longer. Everyone's Easter was stolen tonight. We need to go to the swamp, get our eggs back, and kick their tails. I have an idea that could work if 
we disguise ourselves like Takeits, we can sneak through the swamp and into old Takeit Town. While the Takeits are sleeping, we'll tie them up and take back our eggs. Anyway, Miss Claroline is right. I'm going to get the eggs back. Who's going with us? I'm going with you, Headmaster Benedict and Miss Claroline. I want the eggs back. I'm going too. I'm small. They won't see me. Good gracious. I can spy on the tickets and find out what they did with the eggs. Hmm. Last fall, I was chicken napped by a ticket and dragged through the swamp to old Take It Town. I know the whole route to that nasty old place, and I'm ready to lead the way. I'll go, of course, to protect you all. Thank you, Sergeant. But you need to stay in Eggtown to protect our citizens, just in case the Takeits come back and we don't. Uh, you're right, and you are the boss, Headmaster Benedict. No! I'm the boss! Listen, they robbed me. I'm going too. Bossy, you're not going without me. I don't go anywhere without you. With your permission, Benedict. Of course, boss. And thank you. And you too, Bernadette. Do the swap! 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 Well, the brave little group went home to put on the darkest and shabbiest clothes they could find, so no one would spot them traveling to old Take It Town. I hear someone coming. Who's that? I don't know who that is. I'm going with you. <sighs> Miss Tessie, you can't come. You've been through enough. That's exactly why I'm going. My son is the reason you're all here. Someone in my family has to make things right. Please, let me come. I won't be any trouble. I think Miss Tessie has as much right to come as any of us. Okay, Tessie. Let's go. watching us right now? Oh. That bird looks like he's following us. I hope he isn't a spy for the tickets. Oh. Ah, I think it's your imagination. What is that awful smell? Ugh, it's disgusting. Dead bodies. Has to be. Nope, that's the stink of polluted water. We're going the right way. We need to cross this stream. I can't put my toes in that. Would you rather swim across? Oh, my. 
What a beautiful flower. I've never seen a red violet. No, oh, that smell. It's so unusual. That's odd. I don't ever recall seeing red <gasps> violets before. Wait a minute. Miss Tessie! No! They're wolf vine violets! Oh, oh no! Oh, hold on, Miss Tessie! She's covered in blood. She's bleeding, but I can't find the wounds. Benedict, that isn't Miss Tessie's blood. It's yours. <gasps> oh, Benedict, you are so brave. <gasps> Miss Tessie, your shawl, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, Miss Tessie. Well, that shawl brought me nothing but trouble. Good riddance. <laughs> Closer. That bird is still following us. I hope he's not leading the wolves to us. That son? It was here before. I remember it. Good. That means we're all going the right way. And we're all gonna die. Ooh, I'd like to be home right now. I don't want to go in. We don't have a choice. I don't know any other way. I hate to say this. What? What is it? I've read about cemetery swamp pools. Now they're haunted. Haunted by what? There's a legend about a spirit called Muck. They say it will eat you, but first it sucks out your vital juices through your... I don't want to hear the rest. Harriet, you believe in that weird stuff? I didn't say I believe in it. It's no use! We're stuck! Stop screaming! Calm down, we'll never get out of this! Oh, Harriet, you were right! Why didn't we listen? Trespassers must die. You must pay a toll. How dare you threaten us? We've done nothing to you. Let us go. Boss, keep quiet. I've waited for you, you wretched take it. Take it? We're not take it. <laughs> Explain! Please, please, don't, don't hurt us. We're from Eggtown. Disguised as Takets. The Takets stole our Easter eggs. <laughs> Sir, please. My name is Benedict Bunny. What may I call you? It is of no consequence. But I am the one they call. Muck. You must be their leader. 
The one they call Terrible Timothy. I told you! I am... I'm Benedict Bunny! Well, actually, they, they call me Big Boring Benedict Bunny, but I am not a take it! Take it or not, you are trespassers. And trespassers must die. <laughs> Did you not see the sign? Oh, we did, but, but the take it stole our eggs, and, and we've come, risking everything to, to get those eggs back, or else... No children anywhere will, will ever get their Easter baskets. I will only eat one of you. Now, choose the one among you to be eaten. We can't choose one of our own to be eaten. Choose or you will all die. Each of you will whisper to me one name. The one whose name is spoken the most times <clears throat> shall be my victim. Ow. I can't believe this is happening. I know it's me, isn't it? I'm so boring. I would be the one everyone admits the least. <laughs> We had a deal, Muck! Set them free! You said only one of us has to die! Oh no! <gasps> Yes, Benedict, my thanks to all of you. This is how I used to be, clean and free before selfishness, cruelty, and waste conspired to cast this evil spell upon me. I asked you for a victim, expecting you to betray each other, but instead, oh. you each unselfishly chose to whisper your own name to me. It was the purity in your hearts that released me from my bondage. What happens to you now, Mark? Look for me in the fallen rain, the snowy hill, and the morning dew. Farewell, my friends, and good luck on your journey as well. If we ever get out of this place, I'm changing my life. What would you change? Every day I teach someone else's children. Maybe someday I'd like to teach my own. That would be nice. This doesn't look familiar. Helen, please tell me we're not lost. Sorry, I... I can't remember if we go left or right. It was a year ago. My mind was on escaping, not finding my way back here. Precious, oh, Benedict, you need to do something. You're right. We have to split up to confuse the wolves. They won't know which way to go. Boss, you take Bernadette, Harriet, Claroline, Helen, and Desi. Good gracious, you come with I'm me. I'm going with you, Benedict. No, you're not, Harry. It's too dangerous. I want you to go with Boss. Benedict, in case, in case something happens and we don't make it out of this mess, I just want you to know how much I, I love, I loved seeing you every day. Everybody, run now! <laughs> They're following us. The others should be safe. I hope so. Good gracious. Good gracious. Whew. It's none of my business. But I think Miss Harriet's in love with you. I wish. Uh, why, why did you say you think Miss Harriet's in love with me? Oh, good gracious, good gracious. It's obvious to everyone but you, Benedict. What do you think she was trying to tell you back there? I can't believe you didn't at least say 
Be careful, Harriet, or I love seeing you every day, too. I wanted to. I, I, I was going to, but, but I didn't want her to get hurt, and the wolves distracted me. Well, what distracted you for the past nine years? Look, good gracious, I... I've never been able to muster the nerve to tell her how much I love her. I mean, what did you expect? They call me big, boring Benedict Bunny. I hope you get another chance, Benedict. I hope the wolves didn't. I don't know which way to turn. I don't know which path to take. But I am sure of one hair-raising fact. I can't just sit here and wait. I'd never believe it if you'd ever told me. I'd find myself lost in the night. Trying to find her. I've been so blind around her. Choosing a possible path, I have a feeling this time I won't fail. I've lived my whole life in a prison I've loathed, that big boring Benedict jail. While my sentence just ended, my ways I've amended. I've always intended to love. I'm going to save her. I just have to be brave, sir. I will follow the path that I choose Like a champion facing the wind I know now I'll never find love in my life If I don't start right now and begin Believing that I can move mountains if I want I feel the power in me I am no longer boring, sir I am just so adoring her There is no turning back for me, world. This time, Benedict's getting the girl. I'll follow my dreams and I'll never forget to follow my heart so I don't have regrets. Even though nothing in life is for certain, I'll choose the when and the how. It's a feeling I'm gonna allow. It's a feeling of feeling like wow, wow. I know love is the answer. I know love finds a way I'll go wherever you want me Cause I'm what you need Right now Benedict, follow me. <laughs> Benedict, where are you? Good gracious, over here. Oh, huh? uh, that's the bird that's been following us. I thought he was spying for the tickets. He's showing us the way. Good gracious, where are you going? Oh, I don't believe it. It's you, from the picnic. Thank you, my brave friend. That must be the opening to the tunnel that leads to the take it's lair. Good gracious, good gracious, not so fast. This is a job for a grasshopper. I'll go in first and make sure the tickets are still asleep. I'm so small they won't notice me even if they wake up. Only you can make sure we don't walk into a nasty situation. Absolutely. <laughs> Wow, look what I 
found. Oh. You know, Cookie, you're always complaining you never get any fresh ingredients. Oh, oh you're twisting it. Well, what could be fresher than this? No! Toast him with the stolen eggs. Now, stuff him in muck spice and mash him in gravy. You idiots. We got a gazillion Easter baskets, chock full of fresh goodies. This one's too scrawny and sour to eat. <laughs> I know, I know. Grasshopper sandwiches. Enough! You, my scrumptious little friend, are going to be delicious grasshopper pie! Now back off, all of you. I got me some bacon to do. <laughs> Not much do you, hey, grasshopper? Oh, I think we should let him go. Poor little guy. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I agree. We really should let him go. We are so sorry, my little friend. We didn't mean to scare you. You look so thin. We've decided to let you go. But what kind of host would we be if we let you leave weary and tired and thin? How about an egg to fatten you? I mean to fill you up. Strengthen your legs for the long journey home. Oh, good gracious, good gracious. Oh, oh, you're all so very kind. I love eggs, but I really must be going. <laughs> I don't want to wear out my welcome, you know. <laughs> oh. Don't worry about that. Wouldn't you like a little snack? Oh, I'm not hungry. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'm starving. Oh, good gracious, good gracious. My stomach isn't grumbling. It's sending out a formal protest. You guys take the cake. Oh, I, I mean that in a good way. You didn't even know I was coming, and here you are inviting me for breakfast. I'd love some egg right now to, you know, strengthen my legs. Gracious, good gracious. These eggs are delicious. Thank you so much. Ow! They're just... Ow! My stomach! That egg! Oh! Ow! The pain! Ow! Everything is going dark! I can't... Oh! Oh! I'm dying. Oh, no. ah. The eggs are poisoned. It's rat poison. No one, nothing but poisoned grasshopper meat. No. They tricked us. That could have been one of us. They let us steal these poisoned eggs. They were trying to croak us. Have they no shame? They're evil! You can't trust anyone today. Wait a minute. Not so fast. That grasshopper and his friends came here to steal those eggs back. They put a lot of time and effort into decorating and packing and... You know what that means. They don't know the eggs are poisoned either. Rat poison must have accidentally spilled into the sugar. Okay. <laughs> We're out of here. Let's hide in the swamp. We'll let them steal back their poison eggs. After they all croak like their little friend. Egg Town will be wide open. We'll live at the bake shop. <laughs> we'll eat anything we want, anytime we want. Yes. I'll never have to cook again. All right. Way to go. Let's go.
something went terribly wrong. Good Gracious is always punctual. Our little friend would be here if he could be here. They've captured him or worse. He went in first to make sure it was safe for all of us. We owe it to Good Gracious to rescue him. I agree. Let's go. That's it, then. I'll lead the way. Harriet, you follow me. Miss Tessie, you get behind Helen. Helen, make sure you stay with Miss Tessie. Claroline, you cover their backs. Good. Boss, you and Bernadette stay in back, just in case they sneak in behind us. Everyone take your positions. We're going in. Lead the way, Benedict. anybody ever had. You risked your lives for me. I'll never forget this moment. But we're not out of the woods yet. The tickets are hiding outside. They could return any minute. But we thought you were dead. I played possum. I outsmarted them, and I don't want to be here when they find <gasps> out. Oh, no. Quick, grab the crate of eggs on the floor. I'll explain it on the way home. Let's take our eggs and beat it. haven't unpacked the baskets from the truck yet. It's parked behind this tunnel mound. We can drive it back to Eggtown. <laughs> Good gracious. That was close. No one's following us. We'll make it if this hunk of junk doesn't fall apart. Where's Timothy? He's not here. He must be outside with the wolves. Should, should we help him? You want to go out there? Forget him. Oh. Okay. I'm hungry. Make us something to eat. I got a bad feeling we ain't going anywhere for a while. You idiots. We're out of food. We didn't stock up because we were going to move into Egg Town. They're out of food. What now, Dagger? We wait. Are you all right? Definitely. I'm better than all right. I have the bravest friends in the world. We have our eggs back. I'm feeling like, wow, anything is possible. We're out of Forest Edge. Look, everyone is gathered on the comets. They're all waiting for us. But how could that be? 
Bossy! Beep the horn! Yes, yes, by all means, beep! Oh, it's my mother! Hey, Mom! Over here! Birdie told me. Test, test. <clears throat> uh, tonight we ate down and celebrate the return of our heroes, our eggs, and our confidence. So, in appreciation, we are presenting our heroes with fitting tributes. First, Ah, the Unsung Hero Award goes to oh, Helen Hen. <laughs> the uh, Leadership Award goes to Ah, Miss Claroline Cluck. <laughs> Teamwork Award goes to Boss and Bernadette Baker. Tonight's award for performing above and beyond the call of duty goes to uh, oh, Miss Tiny Tessie. <laughs> The next award is really two awards in one. For uncommon courage in the face of certain death, and for outsmarting the enemy with strategy, the Showstopper Grasshopper Award goes to... Good Gracious Grasshopper! <laughs> <laughs> and now, a very special award for selfless service in the line of duty, the Bravery Award goes to <laughs> Miss Harriet Hare. She my teacher. She's so smart. And finally, I am proud to present Eight Towns Action Hero Award for boldness, determination, and for keeping cool in the face of great peril. I am so proud to present this award to our music teacher and headmaster, Benedict Bunny. We have refreshments on the common, so enjoy yourselves. Let the record show that from this day forward, today shall be known as Easter Egg Escapade Day. I can't believe we made it back to Eggtown. I know. It's almost as if it was all a bad dream. Well, it wasn't all bad. Thank you for being concerned about me. Oh, oh, you're 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 welcome. And and thank you for well, well, thank you for everything. I, I guess now that this escapade is over, um, everything can get back to normal. Benedict. Everything can't go back to normal. When I was lost in the swamp, I realized I might never get out alive. I thought about all the things I'm missing. I'm not coming back to school, Benedict. <gasps> you know what, Benedict? I was lost, but I finally found myself. I'm not ready to lose that tomorrow. So, goodbye, Benedict. I do. Don't leave, Harriet. She can't hear you, Benedict. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm sorry to bother you. There's just one more announcement I need to make. I'm just crazy about you. I can't live 
without you I'm just crazy about you I won't last without you I won't lose you again I love you certainly is tiring. I think I'll pass up the free refreshments and just go straight home. <sighs> home, home, sweet home. I haven't had a jelly bean in... I don't know how long. A butterscotch would certainly hit the spot. Where the bunnies and the grasshoppers roam. <gasps> What's this? Good gracious, it's a note. <gasps> it's from terrible Timothy Take It. Hey, little grasshopper. I saw you breathing. Take good care of my mother. <laughs> 